Hello guys, I'm Lucian L and welcome to another episode of Ruby Reactions. This time we are reacting to Ruby Volume 5, Chapter 8, Alone Together. Now last episode was filled with exposition. I'm hoping we get a fair amount of um, combat in these episodes. Uh, last episode uh, we got, uh, you know, Team Ruby or what's been reunited <laughs> the part that's been reunited of it you know yang wise and ruby and the rest of team ranger to discuss all the stuff that has happened recently and all their travel through the world of or to the through the country of anima so that was a pretty i don't know like a big episode in you know reflecting and thinking about the things that that have happened and ren like make a deep <laughs> comment that the characters that we have now are not the same ones that we've had in the past volumes they've all had their time or their fair amount of experience and they've been able to change and evolve and that's really cool. I, I do see some amount of development, especially in the second part of the episode when they talk about the whole thing with Ospin and um, the curse that he gave to Crow and Raven, or well, a gift, like he called it. Uh, that was kind of interesting, the wording that he used. But he claims that they asked for it, so that's, that's interesting. But regarding that, uh, Yang seemed uh, more controlled. Like, she didn't seem to be too emotionally driven like she seemed like she was always almost going to like go out uh, um quit you know the has been said like who whoever wants to quit like they can go it's it's it's, a, it's their choice yang like she stood up and it, it was kind of an interesting moment because like she said if ruby's okay with it then i'm okay with it too because what she says is usually the right thing to do, or what she chooses to do. She seems to be more controlled in her feelings, more in touch with, with her feelings, and that's really good because she's way more in control of that, and now she doesn't... She's not as reckless as she was before. Uh, I don't think... Uh, maybe we'll see that she's still a bit reckless, especially when facing someone like... Uh, Mercury, which we saw at the end of the episode, uh, which we hadn't seen in this volume, I don't think so. So, also that, at the end of the episode, we saw uh, Mercury, Emerald, Watts, and Jessica Negri. <laughs> How is she called? Cinder Fall. Uh, <laughs> they finally arrived at the entrance of Raven's Camp. And they are going after the Spring Maiden, which is of course the girl that we are seeing that is the like the right hand of Raven. Is that the term? Or left hand? I don't know. I don't know phrases. Okay. <laughs> anyway, let's get right into the episode. I've had a lot of high expectations for this, but I'm also expecting it to be a bit of a build-up for the next episode that is called A Perfect Storm. So, let's see. Ruby Volume 5 Chapter 8, Alone Together. That is... Like that, that, that doesn't sound like an episode that's gonna be... Uh, that's gonna have a lot of combat, but I am expecting at least some degree. Or maybe just more build-up to the next episode. It could go either way, it's 15 minutes. It, it seems like one, uh, the shorter episode has been last episode, that's been 12. So that's really good, it's still being very fairly consistent. So that will be it for my expectations. I'm gonna reset the camera and let's get right into it. I gave most of my insight of the opening in the last episode. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go check it out because it, it's, it's really grown on me after all that I've experienced. So yeah, this seems like an episode where they're gonna be, you know, resting and Maybe having more exposition about their character development, hopefully. You're huh. up early. Whoa, <laughs> okay. Hey, sis. Hi. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> okay. Can't fall back asleep. Uh, me neither. Yeah, that happens a lot to me. Oh. Coffee exists. <laughs> cool. Alright, I just had coffee, actually. I refilled it with water, but I had coffee. 
<laughs> no, please. Don't what? Worry, I put in blasphemous amounts of cream and sugar just for you. Oh, yeah, nice way strikes again. I just wish Blake could be here with us. She yeah, probably well, will. She made her choice. Oh, what she's still angry. I mean, she could have been here if she just stuck around. It's no big deal, though. We'll be fine. Huh. Don't you want her here? Why would I want her here? What a sundry. Still mad at her uh, for leaving? Sorry. <laughs> oh, whatever gave you that idea, Ruby? No, I'm totally fine. I'm great. Okay, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Oh. Yeah, Whoa. just like I said, she's still kind of emotionally driven. Yeah. Ugh. Whatever. Okay, so that's the thing that was, yeah. She's still coping with it. Okay. Oh, there you go. What a good <laughs> segue. Hey, Is it about to go down? I don't think oh, so, but maybe. Right Son? <laughs> Ooh, they are still communicating. What? Things going to do not so to do. Please give you come along. Oh. That may be bad. We go on recruiting or what? We've got Ugh. the entire nocturnal section to hit up. <laughs> One nocturnal section. What are you thinking? Okay. Son. Yeah, I'll meet you there. I need to take care of something first. Okay. Just gonna talk with Ilya. Pretty sure. Yeah. Oh. We're having an episode of, you know, Bumblebee. <laughs> but I'm kidding. I, I don't ship them, but. Oh. Was she carrying that or did she take a copy? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Look, Ruby, I really don't want to talk about it, okay? It's not Ruby, is it? For a bit? Huh. Oh. <laughs> hey, Weiss. Did you yeah. need something? Huh. So... I know she's our teammate. But I'm not just going to change my mind. I'm sorry, I just... I don't think you know what it's like to be left. You have a giant family. Recitals oh, well. to perform at. Dinners to attend. I didn't yeah. have any of that. We saw in last volume that that's not necessarily a good thing. Ruby's mom okay. left too. Okay, I get it. Okay. Ty was always busy with school and Ruby couldn't even talk yet. I had to pick up the pieces. I had to keep things together. Alone. Okay. Weiss, yeah. if you have I, something to say, then I'm say gonna it. write this down because I want to talk about that next episode next episode at the my end. Dad finally admitted to my mom that the only reason he married her was for the family name. Yeah. It was actually on my birthday. Whoa. It was the big dinner. She got mad. She finally snapped. So that's why she drinks a lot, Looking probably. Back, I think I knew too. Yeah. But hearing him say it finally pushed her over the edge. Push her over the edge. Ugh. First, it was separate lunches and dinners. Opposite balconies at my recitals. A glass of wine here, a glass of wine there. Mm -hmm. Then it was no dinners, no recitals. A bottle of wine here, and I don't get the idea. Yeah, uh, I'm really sorry. I shouldn't have assumed. You're right, though. I don't know loneliness like you do. I have my own version. And I'll bet Blake has her own version, too. She doesn't have to be alone, though. I was here for her. Yeah. We all were. She, she's understanding she that now. To leave us. Yeah. The entire time Blake was at Beacon, she was afraid to open up to people. She tried to keep her past separated from us. She tried to protect us. Eventually, those walls she put up came down. And the moment they did, the one thing she was afraid of actually happened. 
Oh yeah. Proved her right. I wish she hadn't left too. That's another interesting point. Okay. The only thing we can do now is be there for her when she's ready. When she comes back. Okay. If she comes back. She when? Will. Yeah. Yang, you, Ruby, and even Blake are more like family to me than my brother or even my own father. Wow. I would do anything for you three. And I'm willing to bet Blake feels the same way. So, hmm. when she's ready, I'll be there for her. And I know we're not as close, but I'm here for you too. <laughs> That's nice. All right. Is uh, <laughs> everything okay? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Good, good. Okay, development. Development. Ilya? Okay. Let's see. Coping with loss. I'm gonna write that down. Huh. Ilya. Nice. I know you're scared, but you don't have to be. My family and I, we can keep you safe. Just turn it. I'm sorry. What? You can make it up to me by helping us stop Corsican Fennec. No. She doesn't know the plan. I'm sorry. Yeah. <gasps> okay, so I get the... Whoa, is that a... That a that's a bat. Faunus. Okay, cool. Or dragon? I don't think so, but... Whoa, what the heck is that? Ouch. Oh, okay. That's why you... I've got her. Well done, Sister Trefa. And to you, Ilya. Dang it. Ilya! Oh. What are you doing? I tried to warn you, Blake. I'm sorry. Don't tell me you're sorry. But I am. I am sorry it has to be this way, but you and your family are holding the Faunus back. Because we're trying to protect people? In what world do you live in where attacking the innocent is the right thing to do? The same one as you. There's no huh. such thing as innocent. There's no right thing to do. Only what's best for us. There's the Whoa. humans that still hate the Faunus. And there's the others who stand by and let the hate happen. But Interesting. You know out hate? Fear. Whoa. I don't like hurting people. But I'll tell you this. Okay. It's gotten us results. So she's she's turning yeah. like Adam. Look where it's gotten you. Yeah. We all have to make sacrifices for the greater good. No matter how much it hurts. Man. And you think killing me is really for the greater good? No. I mean getting rid of your family is. Dang. You wouldn't. Shoot. You can't. I won't let you. I know. That's why you're being sent to Mistral. To Adam. That's why, yeah. That's why she Ilya, gets to please. Mistral. Dang. You don't have to do this. This isn't you. Yes, it is. Holy crap. But I guess back then you were just too busy falling for Adam to notice. Ooh. I was always jealous of the way you looked at him. Whoa. I wanted you to look at me that way. Really now? But we can't always get what we want. What a great moment. <laughs> Whoa. Thanks for the backup. Thanks for the invitation. Are you okay? <laughs> nice. No. So they... You heard, cool. Ilya. My family's in danger. Call the police and let's go. Right. Cool. Okay. Nice to know they had a backup. Come on, mom, pick up. Oh, you know. Ugh. Oh shoot. Get down. Oh crap. 
It's going down. I wasn't expect. Whoa. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Meh. Yeah. <laughs> Nice, okay. Go find my wife. <laughs> oh crap. Oh shoot. Dang. <sighs> there you go. It's time our dear chieftain stepped down from us. Yes, brother. I'm afraid I'm inclined to agree. Whoa. Oh, that's, is that a semblance or just, so she's, I mean, whoa. Hmm. So he's kind of like the guy uh, from volume two, you know, the very beginning where they fought, um, whatever he is, like a puma or something. Yeah. So whatever he is, he's kind of like that. Um, because you remember that the other guy also he, he looked kind of like, like Wolverine and like he took out the the nails and all that that reminded me blah, blah, blah. that reminded me a lot of uh, a lot of it uh, so we got confirmation um, it's something that uh, people already kind of knew about the thing with Ilya and Blake uh, kind of I think people kind of pick up picked up on it uh, ever since uh, Corsair and Finicky said something like, "If you ever come back to the White Fang, uh, Sister Ilya will be really pleased" or something like that. So um, people really picked up on that, and I, I think it's uh, pretty much confirmed. So I don't know what's gonna be the development with that. It's it's kind of interesting. So uh, we got confirmation of that. Also, um, Ilya is kind of becoming. Uh, Adam, that's uh, something that Blake said before uh, that they are kind of having the same resolve and that's really dangerous so I don't know what will be of that I'm hoping she becomes good but I think then uh, the, the thing that she just did kind of sealed her destiny kind of with with Adam but she's uh, she's closer to redemption I think than Adam because she's still kind of, I don't know, it, like she acts strong. Uh, her character is pretty interesting, Ilya's character, because she acts strong when she's around uh, Blake, when she's trying to, well, most of the time, when she's trying to attack her, especially when she's uh, given orders to attack her. But when she's talking normally to her, or when she's talking to the White Fang, she even seems to have second thoughts, like even the guys at Corsic and Finnick. I don't know, it still seems like they are somewhat like compromised. They feel compromised to their cause. So I don't know if they, there's even a possibility of redemption of any of them. Uh, Corsic and Finnick, I don't think so, because they seem a bit of... Um, how could you say? Like these villains that aren't really developed, like we don't really see their characters, uh, at least like the way we see Ilya, like with the um, with the background of her parents and all that. Uh, so she seems uh, way more possible to be redeemed than, you know, uh, Corsica and Finicky and even Adam, well, especially Adam, <laughs> because we don't know really what drives him, although, uh, Corsic and Finicky did mention that he carries a great burden. So I don't know if that has to do with his family. Maybe he's the last Faunus, the last uh, Taurus, uh, uh, like, you know, a bull type Faunus, maybe something like that. Uh, I don't think we've seen, have we seen another bull uh, type Faunus? I don't know. And with Ilya, we did see her backstory. We even got that kind of, like, that degree of backstory of saying, hey, um, you know, I was jealous of the way you look at Adam. That's that's interesting. I don't know, like, from the beginning, she seemed like the kind of character to, to have that kind of feelings, but I don't know what will be of that development. But anyway, that will be it for now. It was a really interesting episode, but like I predicted, uh, a kind of a build-up to what's coming next which is not gonna be good probably.
Perfect Storm, we're probably gonna see more of the other side of the plot uh, of um, of uh, Cinder trying to get the win the Spring Maiden. Sorry. Uh, so I wrote some stuff because it was really interesting for me. So Yang, yeah, Yang. So Yang has uh, um, a fair amount of uh, traumas, of issues uh, with her mother, with the both of her mothers. Uh, she has an abandonment complex a lot of it seems like uh, just like I said she's still coping a lot with her feelings e even even though she's developed a lot she's still uh, coping with uh, Blake's departure we hadn't touched in that and I'm glad with it in this episode and she's kind of you know um, has it called? Been able to uh, put that aside or put that behind, uh, that resentment. Uh, I hope at least. Um, and also Blake, uh, there, there was a lot of... I liked that there was some development with Blake even though she wasn't in the scene. Uh, when we had that thing where uh, Wise explained, uh, and I love that Wise was the one to explain that. Uh, like saying Blake is co uh, has a really interesting way with coping with of coping with when things go south, and that's you know to run away. She's a uh, uh, run away completely, and it's it's interesting that that's the way she copes with loss. I'm sorry, I'm a bit but nervous because I don't have a lot of time in the in the camera and the. I liked that they didn't straight up kidnap. Uh, Blake, I like that she had a backup plan because yeah, I I I really like I want Blake to go to get to Mistral, but not like this, not like this, please. Um, because if her family dies, and I really hope they don't, uh, if her family dies, like she's gonna be dealing with so much grief and loss and. Like, we know, we know how she deals with loss, even though that could also be a, an interesting development, because maybe with the development that she's had in the last uh, volume and in these recent episodes, maybe she won't run away, maybe she'll face um, the problems. So I don't know if that will be good. I don't know, I really don't want them to die, because Kali and Gira are really good characters. Like, they were even getting along. Uh, he was even getting along with Sun after all the things in the last volume uh, where Sun was getting in those awkward situations and Gera was like, I really don't like you. <laughs> like, that was comedy and that was really... Uh, that was a really good development that they they didn't keep playing with that. Like, now in this volume, they, are, they were kind of getting along like they realize that they have similar resolves and i like that and i don't know what's going to happen we're getting to that part of the volume where everything's like about to go down and i don't know if that's a good thing but if what i've heard is true in the recent episodes I don't know, um, Wise got a lot of development recently and I don't think they will go as far as to what probably happened, I don't know. Anyway, that will be it for now for me, I'm so excited to get into the next episodes, uh, I'm gonna have to export some stuff to the computer so it doesn't uh, stop recording while I'm, uh, you know, for lack of storage, so I'm gonna be exporting that and then I'm gonna resume uh, the the binging of what's happening you know catching up so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for sticking with me um, thank you so much for the support I know I always say that but it's real true um, recently I've got a lot of support from you guys and I'm so thankful for that so that will be it for now thank you so much for watching again and as always I'm Lucianel and I'll see you next time goodbye